Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can using JavaFX make a window resizable to the point where, in this example, I have this center functionality, which just have some text, some text input, and a button. And I would then like this element to be centered whenever I resize my window. So as you can see here, this center part is not getting any bigger, but it's always being centered based on these other boxes, which is using JavaFX, H boxes and V2 boxes, so horizontal boxes and vertical boxes. And just to demonstrate how they work differently, I just made all of them a color. So you can see whenever I expand and resize the window, depending on what we're doing, we make stuff a bit resizable. And we then have a few different constraints, for example, kind of like this top bar, bottom bar, and only get aspect, so they have like a max or min size. A different boxes is also defined to minimum areas, which all in all creates this, I think at least, kind of good looking way of being able to expand and resize my window. So let's actually have a look at how it's set up inside Scene Builder. And also at this point, it might be actually a good idea to get a basic look at the FXML because it actually end up being probably easier to actually write the XML than using Scene Builder. I still think Scene Builder is a very good tool to get a basic understanding of how it works. So just the basic concept, I have a VBox, so a vertical box containing everything. Inside this VBox, we then have three H boxes. So this top bar, this middle bar, which contains everything, functionality on these side bars, and a button bar. We then very importantly need everything inside the layout to be set for V row to always. So it's always going to be filling this space if necessary. And I'm then just going to put every size to use computer, computed size. So we're not defining any size, we just say it's telling the computer, fit the screen with this box. And as long as the box is just going to be fill, we just want to be, we grow always and just all the boxes, all the sizes to be used computed size. So for the top bar, we grow always computed size. And in this case, we then added a max height. So we only want the top bar to be as high. So it's not going to grow infinitely. And the same for our button box. We grow always use computed size, then also set a max height. But we can actually just play around with it a bit. So if we now understand that the top bar and the button bars only grow and grow as much, you can see when we get to this point, they are no longer getting any bigger. But when we get small enough, they're going to be very small. They're then going to grow until they are 100 pixels high. We then inside this main H box, which is also set to H or V grow always. And all of this H box simply being forced to fit this area because it's all computer sizes. But then again, inside is doing more or less the same thing, just on the different axles. We then have on the sides two H boxes, which in this case, H box, H grow always, all computer sizes, the right bar, H grow always, all computer sizes. But then inside, simply have a V box. And again, I might have added too many boxes. You can probably simplify this, but I actually really like the concept of showcasing here how all the V box and A boxes are kind of like growing and expanding differently. But you can probably remove half of the boxes if you just want something standard. But inside here, we then have another V box. Again, same concept. And trading three boxes. We saw this black box on top, black box on top, but in the bottom again. Same concept, V box. V grow always, V grow because inside another V box, all computer sizes, button black bar, V grow always, all computer sizes, and we then have our anchor pane. Then, very importantly, we don't want our anchor pane to grow. So, what we're simply defining is we're setting, and we grow always, probably doesn't matter because we do not want to grow, but we set a min width, so a minimum size, and a maximum size. And in this case, I'm just going to set the min size and the max size to the same which means we would always want this anchor pane to be 150 by 350. And by doing this, everything else is set up to 
grow and to expand and fit the screen, but our anchor pane is just going to be set. And doing this, we simply force a program where we have this anchor pane where we can put whatever we want, or put even inside this anchor pane, or we could just use Xbox or Vbox completely everywhere and put in some buttons in some of them or some stuff to make everything kind of resizable. But I really like this base concept of having some kind of centered element, which if we full screens, this, you can see it's still centered, of course it's gonna end up being a bit small, but we're then simply expanding all the Hbox and Vboxes around it. So if we just have a quick look at the FXML, it's gonna be the same. We have a Vbox containing everything, then children of the Vbox, we have this Hbox, Hbox, Hbox. Just look at that. Importantly, we need Vbox.vgrow always for all of them. As you can see, just very simply here, Vbox grow, we give it a color, max height, another eight box, just v Vbox vgrow always. Some children of this Vbox, some H boxes. Again, another Vbox with some children. So you can see we kind of have this higher hierarchy of Vbox and eight boxes inside each other, and they're kind of like expanding to fit. It's at first when you're kind of playing around with it, it can be a bit confusing. That's also why I like adding colors, which definitely helps me understand how they're moving and where they're moving to. Like this. But I will leave a link in the description to this XML if you want to have a look at it yourself. In this program, nothing else is already set up. My controller is just empty, so it's all based on just Scene Builder. And you're using some basic kind of setup built into how the FXML reads and loads the, the scene. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we're using JavaFX and Scene Builder FXML, can create resizable window where we can keep some elements centered at all the time. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.